Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com, and in this video I'll be taking a look at the Spec Mighty Shell Plus Faceplate for the iPhone 6 Plus. You can pick this up for a whopping $69.95 from SpecProducts.com, and I would like to thank them for sending this over to me for review. This particular case has several things going for it, in that it's very protective. So let's start by taking a look at the inside of the case. Here you can see the radial impact geometry to help with shock absorption. There's also a lip that comes up and over the display, as I like to call it a lay on the table design. And you can see that for as much protection as this adds, it doesn't add too much in the way of thickness to the iPhone 6 Plus. This case also has an antimicrobial coating to guard against everyday germs and bacteria, according to spec. For your purchase, you also get this faceplate, which I do recommend using because you're paying for it, and I think that it looks good, and according to spec, this offers five layers of shatter protection for your display. So it has this white border around the actual screen itself, which I think makes it very easy to install, because if I turn my display on, you can see that we definitely have a little bit of spacing around the actual display, so having that white border for this particular color I think does help a lot with alignment, and I was able to get it perfectly aligned on my very first try, also without bubbles, so that is very nice. Back to the case for a moment, in terms of materials, we do have TPU, which is used on the sides and the inside, while the back portion here is polycarbonate. I think that in terms of design, this actually looks quite simple and straightforward. I really like the way this looks, it's very clean throughout. So let's go ahead and carry on and install the phone. I will start with the volume, bytes, uh, volume side button first, and that just slides into the corner. Then you just work the other corners of the case up and over the display, or the device rather. And just like that, it is installed. So this is what the setup looks like once it's actually installed on my Space Gray iPhone. I think the white faceplate does look quite nice. It sort of works rather well with the black front of the iPhone 6 Plus. Going over my usual tour, here is the left side. We do have covers for the volume up and down. They are flush with the side of the case, so they're not the most quickest button covers to find if you're just trying to look for it and just press them down, but they are fairly easy to press and you do get a fairly satisfying click to them, as you should hopefully tell over my microphone. You also get a cutout for the silent switch. It's not, it, it, it's somewhat large, but you're going to have to use your nail to get into it just because it's a little bit thicker, this cutout is. There's nothing at the top, while on the right side we do have another cover for the power button. Same deal as the volume buttons, you can see that it's flush with the side of the case so it's not the most obvious thing to find. Going down at the bottom we have one cutout for the speaker, one cutout for the lightning port, and one cutout for the 3.5mm headset jack and the bottom microphone. I would say that oversized cables should be able to work with this. These are a little bit more larger than average sized cutouts so I don't think you should have too many issues using your accessories with this case. Along the back, here's what that looks like again. We do just have minor spec branding right here. I don't think it's really detrimental to the overall design of this whatsoever. And here is the camera cutout. It is black lined. I haven't had any issues with the flash, so that is nice. I have had a few minor drops. Well, I wouldn't say minor. They were about from four feet high onto concrete, and there's a little bit of damage to the case here and there, but ultimately, as long as there's damage to the case and not the phone, then all that is good. In terms of value, this is definitely a little bit of a higher price case than I would normally take a look at. This certainly offers quite a bit of protection for your money. So if that's something you're looking for, and I really do that as, I, I believe that as far as thicker, more protective cases go, this is certainly one that looks quite good. I'm a big fan of the design. I'm not a big fan of the price, obviously, because it's certainly expensive at $70. That's quite a bit. But if you happen to be somebody like me who paid full price for this iPhone 6 Plus, spending $70 for a protective case really isn't that bad. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that the screen protector is actually fairly smudge resistant. It's much more smudge resistant than normal screen protectors I would use. For even more information about this case, head on over to specproducts.com. The link to this case will be linked down below in the description, of course. And if you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.